Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel again. Again, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss from question number 7 till question number 10. What we have to find out, we have to find the indicated terms. Suppose in the first question, we have to find A17. So N is 17 there. Suppose we have to find out A29. So N is 29 there. So simply we just have to put N and we have to find the value of some term. Right? So that's very easy. So let's start with the video everyone. So let's have a discussion on question number 7, 8, 9, 10 and in which we have to find the indicated terms. Indicated terms like suppose this is the seventh question, not the first one. So seventh question of the chapter sequence and series. A n is given to you. We have to find the 17th term and the 24th term. So n is directly given to you. So when n is equals to 17, so when we would put n is equals to 17, so it will become a 17, which is equals to 4 times 17 minus 3. So first we will multiply. So 17 times 4 is how much? It will be 68 minus 3 that is equals to 65. Then a24 means n is equals to 24 when we will put. So it will become a24, which is 24 times. So 4 times n means 4 times 24. I'm not writing it 24. It's exactly the same one. So 4 times 24 minus 3. So 24 times 4 is how much? 96 minus 3, which is 93. Okay, so this is the 17th term and this is the 24th term. Now let's talk about the next question, which is question number 8. So, and the question number eight is this one. So, this is not second question. This is question number eight. So, it is an is equals to n square by 2 raised to the power n. And we have to find a7 means n is equals to 7. So, seventh term we have to find out. So, for n is equals to 7, a7 is equals to n. We have to put 7 square raised to 2 raised to the power 7 only. 7 raised to the power 2 is 7 times 7, which is 49. And 2 raised to the power 7. So 2 times, when you are writing, so 2 raised to the power 7 means you have to write 2 7 times in multiplication, right? So it will be, when you are multiplying 4, 2, it will be 16. And again, when you are multiplying 3, 2, which is 8, so 16 times 8. So 8 times 6 is 48. So 8 and 8 times 1, which is this one. Now we can't solve it further. So that's the final answer. That's the seventh term, right? So let's talk about the ninth question, which is this one. And here we have to find, sorry, we have to find A9. So N is because A9 we have to find. So N is equals to Wait a minute, what happened? Yes, a is equals to a9 we have to find. So n is equals to 9. So a9 that is equals to minus 1 raised to the power 9 minus 1 and 9 raised to the power 3. Every n we have to put like n is equals to 9. So a9 is equals to minus 1 raised to the power 8 times 9 raised to the power 3 means 9 times 9 times 9, which is 729. See, when a negative number has the even power, the answer is always uh, positive. So minus one raised to the power with a positive power, minus one, you have to write minus one eight times in multiplication. So it gives you positive one. So positive one times 729 is 729. So A9 that gives you 729. Okay. So let's talk about the last question. That is the 10th question of the video, which is this one. And here we have to find A20. So N is equals to 20. So A20 that is equals to 20. We have to put N is equals to 20 in every N. So it will be 20 minus 2 and 20 plus 3. So 20 times the bracket which is 18 and it's 23. So it will be 360 over 23. So this is A20, right? So this is the final 10th answer result. So thank you everyone. Thank you so much.